web page. All right, we'll begin here shortly. Everyone can keep themselves muted or audio off until we uh, get to the end and we'll have questions. We also have a chat button. If you notice in the bottom right hand part of the WebEx interface, there's a chat button. You can post questions or comments in the chat at any time. Uh, this presentation will be recorded and will be posted to the website for the Haltom Road Hazardous uh, Roadway Overtopping Mitigation Project, which you can easily get to by searching the city's website in the search feature. Just start typing Haltom, and several things come up. One of them is Haltom Road Flood Project. And that's our website for this project. All right, I show 635. Go ahead and get started. And again, I mean, I just click, go ahead here. So this is the Haltom Road, Hazardous Roadway Overtopping Mitigation, or HROM. Um, meeting for water, sewer, paving, and drainage improvements. Coming to uh, this portion of Haltom Road, uh, my name is Mike Crenshaw. I'm the project manager. Also on the, the uh, meeting is um, Jane Wiedermann, our, Wiedermeyer, our assistant project manager, and Daniel Franklin, the engineer with Baird Hampton and Brown. And we have also uh, bid the project. So this is the meeting before construction. And We'll run through a few slides. This is very similar to the 30, 60, or 90% meetings you may have attended previously. Um, it's just now that we have bid the project and we have a start construction date. I want to come back and run through that again before they get started in construction. So, again, this is just a quick location of where we're at, just south of 121 Airport Freeway and Haltom Road turns and, and goes due south from here. It crosses Dry Branch where it had has overtopped in the past and flooded the roadway. And so we're proposing several improvements to most importantly prevent Dry Branch from overtopping and flooding the roadway, but also to make it uh, better uh, lit at night, uh, safer turning radius and the curvature of the road and bring it up to its current city standards. So this is kind of the, the limits of the project or just uh, around the, the corner portion, the turn portion there along Haltom Road. Currently today, the existing roadway is a uh, rural section, no curbing and uh, gutter, no paving, I mean, uh, no curb and gutter, it's just, paving to a shoulder edge and then um, ends. So you can see this crossing is not very apparent and it's somewhat of a blind corner with all of the trees and other growth as well. The um, existing road um, that we're proposing or the proposed changes to the existing road, I wanna show kind of in a quick just step through real quick on what will change for the project. So this is an overview map of it, and we can see some line work here showing how the radius, the curvature of the road will change and where the new um, drainage structures will go. So it will begin um, further back and have a gentler turn, turning radius to it. and that will include a curb and gutter. So it will be a concrete paving, no longer asphalt, but concrete paving uh, with curb and gutter. 
with a portion of sidewalk so that when future pieces of the road are built or improved, um, that can be connected to as well. And the um, space that is provided uh, to the north, west there of the roadway at the top of the screen will be utilized for a maintenance ramp so that the city crews can uh, more regularly and on a planned schedule frequency get to the upstream side, which is the, the top of the upper part of the page portion and get to the upstream side and remove debris as it washes downstream and collects near the entrance of the culverts. So those can be cleared out regularly. And some storm drain will be added locally just to pick up that curb and gutter paving section. Um, and again, the uh, widths of the of the sidewalk will be increased on one side and apply with current city um, criteria that uh, specifies having room for a trail. So in the future, we've accounted for that with this project and that will be available there. So getting to some specifics, details about the project. Again, this is uh, to reduce the overtopping. Uh, the way it's currently designed is that we go beyond the 1% annual chance flood event or the 100 year flood. So it's improvements is beyond that even. So it's improved overtopping, improved road safety, uh, again, showing the lighting, the sidewalks, the width improvement with the curb and gutter and the new paving being concrete as well. Um, as a part of that, there was some existing water and sewer that was there in that vicinity that had to be either accounted for or replaced and so some of the the sewer line is being adjusted some of the water is being completely replaced with new uh, to current city standards as it crosses the creek there so those improvements are included in this project so as far as schedule we have of course we've already done the design that was completed. We have the bid and award that was done in the in the summer. I uh, went to council in September, awarded the contract. We're preparing contract documents, et cetera, now for the contractor to get started on construction in January. And upon last speaking with the contractor, they anticipate starting bright and early January 2 of 2024. So that'll be, they'll be ready to start on January of 2024. So that's just a couple months from now. And then construction is anticipated to take roughly a year. Uh, it could be done quicker. And one thing that will allow it to be done quicker is being able to close the road during construction. This question has come up in previous meetings that we've held. Um, we do anticipate uh, closing the road to through traffic during construction. Of course, there, there's a couple of residents that are right close to this location. They will have, you will have access at all times to your home. Um, of course, uh, there may be adjustments to that during construction to accommodate construction. Uh, the the contractor is Clutes Construction, and I'll have their contact information up in just a moment. And uh, as soon as we have our city inspector assigned, uh, we will have his contact information as well. And they will make sure that you have access to your residences. But the benefit of being able to close it to through traffic is it allows the contractor to do complete uh, demolition of the older existing infrastructure, water, sewer, et cetera, and replacements in a much, much uh, more efficient, timely fashion. So 
that is a, a great benefit. We've mapped out uh, the engineer for the project, uh, Daniel Franklin and his team at Baird Hampton Brown has mapped out a couple of detour routes. So uh, detouring from the southbound um, requires going back either first uh, or just say first street to beach and then to 121 or the detour northbound would be of course back to Halton Road to directly to 121. So we're fortunate that there's good thoroughfare, um, good roadways to have the detour and this traffic control plan will be um, approved and by the city and of course have a signage, et cetera, up will be a big factor of this so that someone doesn't come from the south all the way up Halton Road from the south to a closed road. So that signage will be in advance and have them able to turn around before they get too far up uh, from the south, coming from the south. And likewise from the north. Um, it's a, a much shorter run from the north and there is um, a few other side roads coming from 121, but the idea will be to have advance warnings so that they can turn around before they get there. So that is anticipated to close the road during construction. That'll speed construction for us and where we're hoping to, to have much less than the year that was allotted for this for construction time. So with that, we'll conclude it. I have several uh, contact uh, information here, myself, Mike Crenshaw. Um, also added uh, the contractor is Clutes Construction LLC, and his email is there. We also have a website, the city website, uh, web page, excuse me, for the project. Um, and you can probably the easiest way to get to that is go to the city's web page, search in the search bar for Halton Road, and it will automatically pop up with the Halton Road flood protection. And you can see the website and we plan to keep regular updates uh, to that web page as well. So with that, we'll open it up for any questions if anyone has or additional comments. Thank you, Mike. That's really good info. I'm not seeing any questions so far in the chat. Just to let you know. Okay. Well, at any time, you can email myself um, or Jane uh, as manage, uh, project manager or assistant project manager. We can get that questions answered and contact uh, the appropriate persons again because uh, the traffic control that we anticipate that will happen as well as having the future um, you know, signage that the contractor inspector will will obviously be diligent about keeping that signage upright in place and hopefully nobody takes it home with them. So those kinds of things are sort of ongoing during construction that will constantly be on top of um, and and the the inspector, our city Fort Worth inspector is our boots on the ground during construction. And so as soon as we get the inspector information, we'll add that to the contact list as well. If we don't have any questions, I think we can end the meeting. And if you think of anything afterwards or have anything come to mind, please uh, feel free to email us and let us know. Thank you.